Hetty's Day Out by Pamela Allen. Once upon a time, there was a cat called Hetty. One morning, Hetty woke up, yawned, washed behind her ears, then squeezed through her little door flap into the bright sunlight. What a good day! Thought Hetty, and she set off to visit Mrs. Gibson. Mrs. Gibson was in the orchard picking plums. "Hello, Hetty," she greeted. "Come in. Would you like some breakfast?" And she gave Hetty a plate of baked beans on toast. "What a good day," thought Hetty, and off she skipped to visit Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones was in the kitchen baking. "Oh, hello, Hetty," he greeted. "Come in. You must try my pies." And he gave Hetty two pork pies, warm from the oven. "What a good day," thought Hetty, and off she trotted to visit Mrs. Bambury. Mrs. Bambury was in the garden weeding. "Oh, hello, Hetty," she greeted. And come in. Would you like some lunch? And she gave Hetty three barbecued lamb chops left over from the night before. What a good day! Thought Hetty, and off she ambled to visit Mrs. Milton. Mrs. Milton was hanging up the washing. Hello, Hetty! She greeted. Come in. I've been making ice cream. Would you like a treat? And she gave Hetty four strawberry ice creams. What a good day! Thought Hetty, and off she trudged to visit Mr. Alexander. Mr. Alexander was hosing down his boat. Hello, Hetty! He greeted. Come in. I've been fishing. I've saved some for you. And he gave Hetty five fish from the fridge. What a good day," thought Hetty, and off she tottered to visit Mrs. Cooper. Mrs. Cooper was clearing the table. "Hello, Hetty," she greeted. "Come in. We've made lots of cakes today. Would you like some?" And she gave Hetty six cupcakes with pink icing and the cherry on top. "What a good day," thought Hetty. And off she wobbled to visit Mr. McGinty. Mr. McGinty was painting his garage. "Hello, Hetty," he greeted. "Come in. I've cooked too many sausages. Would you help me eat them?" And he gave Hetty seven sausages, dripping with tomato sauce. "Oh," groaned Hetty. She sat down. "Oh," she moaned. I want to go home. So she turned around and staggered back the way she had come until she reached her very own house with its very own little flap door. But she couldn't get through. Her stomach was stuck, stuck fast. Poor Hetty, poor Hetty was stuck in a door. She could see her warm bed. Meow. She cried, but nobody heard. Nobody came. Hetty was stuck, stuck in the door. What could she do? Meow! She cried. She moaned and she meowed. Meow, meow! She pushed and she pulled. She jiggled and she wriggled until at last, burp. Ah. <sighs> Now she was thin enough to squeeze her way inside. She crawled into her very own bed. Oh, what a day I've had! She thought. She gave a great yawn, washed behind her ears, curled herself into a ball, and fell fast asleep.